You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I'll be back. Got some things to do. Good luck. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. It's not weird at all. So do I. But you haven't been in school since forever. Hey, I'm not that old. And I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? Yeah. It may take a while, but yeah. I do. Don't you? I hope so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Maybe we should try looking somewhere else for medicine. In Crawford? This place is too overrun. 
No, that safe is our best chance. Yeah, it'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? It's a medical file for a woman named Correa. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I could seal evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Do you think shooting it open would work? Only thing that would accomplish is getting us all killed. So, no, I don't. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. No tape inside. Hey, Krista. Yeah? I hope I did the right thing bringing Clementine with us. This place isn't exactly safe. Then why did you? Because leaving her alone with Omi didn't seem any safer. What's that supposed to mean? No offense, Krista, but Omi's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with That her, is not gonna happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine! You're right. I'm sorry.
Are you making any progress with the safe? No. Without the combination, I don't know how we're gonna get this damn thing open. If we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon... It's okay. We'll figure it out. I've got things to do. Yeah. Same here. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Not working. Phones probably haven't worked in months. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. <laughs> 